we about to get started. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my booktube channel. This is Bree, the Lock Pictician. Let's get into it. Today I'm giving you not one, not two, not even three, not four, but five original book tags. I will be doing each of the book tags in a row and it will be five days of spookish, bookish book tags. And that's going to be me. If you want to join me and also do them for five days, the more the merrier. This video is just me telling you what those five tags are. They will be time stamped. So when you want to do the videos, it will be on there. There are so many people on Twitter who is so excited about these tags and I'm so excited because they're excited and you're excited because you clicked on the video. And if you're here, you might as well do what you gotta do. I am a huge fan of all things Halloween. Huge. It's my favorite holiday. Does orange look good on me? You be the judge. The first one is my skull raking video tag. Before we get started, there are also a lot of book bloggers who are interested in doing this. And of course, yes, do it. The questions, the description box on this video is about to be so lit. You about to get everything you need so that you're able to do this on your platform, whether it's a blog or a booktube channel. I think you can even do it as like a Instagram post. The only thing I ask is that you tag me in them because I just want to see you guys doing them and over 60 people were interested in doing these tags and I hope you guys follow through. I hope you follow through when you do the skull ranking book tag. Now I went on, I think it's called tear maker because that's what we're going to use. We tearing it up. We're going to use a tier um, ranking video. I created the thing already. I'm going to put that in the description box. You guys don't worry about it. You got it. So if you're looking, because I'm going to have this screen split in half. So if you're looking at the screen, and you see that I've highlighted at the top here and it is going to be one skull, two skulls, three skulls, four skulls, and five skulls. So that is going to be the ranking. At the bottom you see all the pictures that I put in and this will be, I'll have a more rundown, not a rundown, but I will be doing this. I'm doing every tag that I am doing on this video not on this video this video was just the announcement however when you do this tag make sure you import the books that you're going to see while you're looking at it you can see that i already have pictures at the bottom and the pictures at the bottom is just the covers to the books that fits with the rules. So here are the rules for the skull ranking tag. Make sure you go through your Goodreads, you go through your Kindle, wherever you read, audiobook, whatever, and find out all the books that you read this year that are thriller and mystery. So when you have them, you find all the covers and then you import them into this system that you see. So the tier maker that I created. Again, the link to this tier maker will be in the description box. Once you have all of the covers of the books that you have read that qualifies as thriller and mystery, put them inside of the put them inside of the tier maker and then I want you to rank them from one skull to five skulls. So one skull means like um it was like barely spooky, barely scary, um not really kind of thing. And then five is like, I had to excuse myself, holla at that toilet, run to the bathroom, run underneath my bed. It scared the crap out of me. The next tag is a witch's brew. Again, all the questions to this tag will be hanging out in the description box. So let's get excited. Let's get into it. So for the witch's brew, you have nine questions, right? So for the nine questions, you're going to answer the following questions. 
Name five well-known witches in 10 seconds. And I know that's short, but it's, I want the tags to have a game element, right? Let's see what we know. And will I master these? It's up there. But again, let's start again. So number one is name five witches in 10 seconds. The second question is, what is one ingredient used in a witch's brew? The third question is, what is your favorite spell that you found in a book? Four is, name a book that has green on the cover, right? And that is not time. That's not a time constraint there. So you can go run to your bookcase or whatever you need to do, but name a book that has green on the cover. The fifth question is, if you could have tea with a fictional character with magical powers, who would it be and why? The sixth question is, what is your favorite series slash movie that has witches? The seventh question is, name two witches of color in either a book, book series, movie, or television show. Eight is, what kind of witch or warlock would you be? So get creative. The ninth question, which is more of a bonus question, is describe an alternative character development in regards to your favorite magical fictional character, right? So for example, in Practical Magic, I don't know if anybody saw the movie Practical Magic or read the book. Practical Magic is actually the first book that the author wrote and then they wrote a prequel called Rules of Magic. So. I did an example to question nine of the alternative character development. For example, in Practical Magic, instead of two sisters, both of the sisters have a twin and in the alternate universe, not even in, not even in like the small town American feel that's setting in the book and in the movie, but they're in this other like wonky universe and they're actually evil like straight up evil and they don't have children there's no children involved what would you change or what would be the alternative character development or scene or whatever in your favorite um magical fictional character oh which is brew tag the next tag is halloween movie tag and i know they're are similar tags to this but I try to make this as different as I can there's also other tags on YouTube but because I love Halloween so much I'm like I'm gonna contribute to the tag making and that's what's happening today first question what is your favorite Halloween movie and why when did you realize that you like Halloween can you remember the first Halloween or magical theme book that you ever read? Fourth question, what book on your shelf has orange on the cover? Five, poison, curse, or cast a love spell. You have to choose between Pennywise, Jason, and Beetlejuice. What is your favorite Halloween-ish book that turned into a movie? Seven, Name three dark slash spooky books that you would love to become movies. Eight, out of the three books that you mentioned, who would be your dream cast to play those roles? So that question, number eight, might take you some time. So I suggest that you figure out the answer to that one before you start filming because you might be like, um, who in the hell would this be? So definitely take your time but I'm really interested to know because I love a good Dreamcast situation. So let's see what that's about. Next, we got our girls Hocus Pocus. And what that means is just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. We have the Hocus Pocus book tag. First question, what book would you consider to be a sweet tooth? Meaning a book you can't get enough of. Two, name me series or single book that has magic, vampires, and werewolves. Three, name a series or single book that has two sisters and they are magical. Four, what is your favorite fictional character to dress up as for Halloween? Five, have you watched the Hocus Pocus? What are your thoughts? Six, if you could have any famous cat, which one would you choose? 
Seven, who is your favorite fictional warlock of all time? Eight, which author would you go trick or treating with? And there you have it, the Hocus Pocus book tag. The final tag is Spiderweb book tag. And the questions are as follows. Name a book that has a spooky cover. Two, do you prefer reading in the dark? Or in the morning and why? Name a book with more twists and turns than you can count. Name a character that was affected or died from potion or a poisonous bite. Five, name a book that included a non-malicious spider. I know, that might take some thinking. Six, when you think of spiders, what is the first book that comes to mind? Seven, spell out spider with book titles that you own. Can you do this in 30 seconds? The last question is, name a Stephen King book that scares or will scare you. And there you have it, the spider web book tag. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you do them, which ones are you excited to do? Please don't forget to tag me in them because I want to see what you guys are doing because I am so excited. I just love tags. Tags is low-key one of the parts or the reasons why I have a booktube channel because they're so fun. So definitely check me out, check yourself out, and come on and do some tags because it's Halloween. And 2020 has not been nice to us and we need some Halloween joy. So let's start here. Don't forget everything that you need to start this tag will be in the description box. If it's not there, shame on me and call me out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a wonderful day. I can't wait to see what you guys produce. See you later.